the cross-contamination of fluids may have created a more efficient molecule. But can they reproduce their results? in a few hours. That was fast. Big Brother's watching. Well, you go talk to them. I'm sure I'm gonna get a phone call myself. Hello, Li Chao. So glad it's you. Where are you? In a hotel room. What's going on? Don't worry. Your wife is fine. A situation that could change very, very quickly. You'll get the data first. That will no longer be sufficient. The Americans cannot have it at all. But Dr. Sanders is working on it now. Then you have to figure out a way to destroy it. You have exactly four hours. Mr. President. I request permission to put all our forces in Central Asia on standby. Permission granted. With global tension on the rise, special forces will be activated, wearing flexible body armor that turns bulletproof on impact, and even makes them invisible. Mr. President, we have some exciting news. The Solaris team has discovered a substance which has the capacity to transform more than 80% of sunlight into electricity. Congratulations. <clears throat> well done. Mr. President, there is a problem though, sir. We are now positive that Beijing was behind the attacks on our Central Asian oil supplies. But China cannot be trusted. What do you suggest? Well, we Mr. keep President... the discovery to ourselves. Oh. We make the Chinese scientist a very generous offer. Beijing will go ballistic if they find out. Let's hope not, sir. The bottom line is we need those pipelines back. Mr. President, I request permission to put all our forces in Central Asia on standby. I'd also like to authorize additional reconnaissance flights and deploy special forces near the pipelines. Permission granted. I'm a scientist. But I was once a soldier in the United States Infantry. And the Army drills into us one fundamental fact. It takes humans, not machines, to take and hold territory. This means that we will have robots and drones on the battlefield, but they'll be useless without their human controllers. To keep the soldier of the future alive on the battlefield, engineers are focusing not just on weaponry, but on smart armor. At the Soldier System Center in Massachusetts, researchers are guiding the development of this armor. It will be soft, comfortable, lightweight. But the instant it is struck by a bullet, it becomes impenetrable. MIT researcher Steven Samuhus is developing a material to create the new armor. What makes it special is its ability to change properties. To demonstrate, Samuhus uses iron shavings suspended in oil. When placed near a magnetic field, the substance stiffens. When removed, it relaxes. So this special liquid, which is a magnetorheological liquid, in the absence of a magnetic field, has something in the consistency like a runny yogurt. Uh, but in the application of a magnetic field, it becomes the consistency of something like peanut butter. It has a yield stress that's very difficult to push through. This lends itself quite well to perhaps making a dynamic body armor for soldiers, 
something which is soft and pliable and adheres to the contours of a soldier's shape when not in use. But in the incidence of uh, a blunt object or a bullet, it could become stiff as a board. Future smart armor will also preserve the life of a wounded soldier on the battlefield. Special polymers will act like artificial muscles. Each molecule will expand or contract when needed to provide CPR to a wounded soldier. Vital signs and whereabouts will be transmitted to a command center which will send help. Ultimate smart armor will also allow the soldier of the future to become invisible. The secret is a photosensitive uniform. The concept is easily demonstrated with a small camera linked to a laptop. The camera photographs what's behind the soldier and relays it to the screen in front, creating the illusion nothing is there. In the future, imagine uniforms blanketed with tiny cameras linked to miniature screens on the opposite side, making the soldier invisible. Listen now. Hey child, we need to talk. First off, I checked the home base and uh, promised to send them the data ASAP. What? Why did you do that? That's standard procedure. You should have spoken to me first! Hey, Chow. What'd they say to you? They abducted my wife. I'm sorry. My government is demanding the formula for themselves. Bob, you have to help me. I have less than four hours to send Beijing the formula and destroy the data. I got it. We have to turn the tables on them. We send a message out to the public so China can't touch Tian. There's no way. All our communication lines are monitored. Wait, I have an idea. You ever heard of a message in a bottle? 